Hey there all you aficionados and happy Fry Friday. Um, please excuse my uh, very formal um, um, attire here. It's really hot. I'm working outside doing some yard work today. Um, fixing up a spot where my dog's apparently been trying to get out of the fence and has been getting out. So been pretty busy today. But wanted to show you something. I finally gave in to peer pressure and to a bunch of your comments on my videos and questions. And um, I decided to upgrade a little bit and test out a product at the same time. I decided to test out a, um, this is the box that came in right here. It is a um, solar powered air pump. This is the actual pump right here. Um, it comes with this little kit right here. You get the air stone. It has the uh, airline uh, USB uh, connection so you can run it off of your uh, computer. Kind of interesting a little clip um, air stone like I said and obviously the solar panel which is right here Here's the solar panel right here with a approximately a five or six foot cord so that's I'm just gonna put it back in the Sun here but um anyway so I'll, I'll go ahead and start to uh, put it put it uh, uh, together um, I've decided this this might be a, a waterproof I'm not really sure but um, to be sure of that I'm going to keep it housed in this uh, Tupperware actually this was a yeah I got this uh, some like uh, ham came in here some sliced ham came in here and then the airline will come through and then the power I just drilled a hole um, just a quarter. A quarter drill and then I drilled two holes in top right here and right here so that the um, zip ties could go through there and hold it on the fence and um, found that you kind of have to wiggle the hole a little bit wider than what I first drilled it but I'm keep the airline on the bottom that's where the airline goes so that it doesn't get crimped and then um, the power line will go around and go in through, through the top and I actually I'll have it backwards like this because it tends to fit better uh, apparently um, so then I'll put it all together so you that that's what you'll be seeing and then it'll just basically be set up like a like a usual um, air pump uh, setup from that point on um, I'm kind of shocked uh, it's not plugged in right now. It's not plugged into the solar, as you can see, but it's still running. Actually, it just turned off. There it is. Um, so let me see if you can hear it. But um, it's still running. So obviously, there, there's a battery that does store some um, energy in there. Um, so it doesn't have to be 100%. Um, it doesn't just work when it's sunny. It will also work. Uh, when it stores up a little bit of power, but it's actually running out of steam right now It's been running for about probably 20 minutes without the um, Solar panel uh, plugged in, but it's going on and off um, Hit or miss um, I tried to turn it off And it will turn off, but it won't stay off Yeah, it turns right back on it's kind of interesting the top right here is the It's the power power plug-in right there right there is the air pump part so all I'm gonna do basically is just plug in the Airline tube in the bottom there. I'll bring the power supply, which is the solar panel, up to the top, and it fits in there nice and snug. Noting that the actually, I said I was gonna put it backwards, didn't I? That the uh, airline is not crimped at all. Uh, the power line is a little bit, but not really a big deal. It has some uh, wiggle room in there, so it's not completely tight. But, um, and then I just have, it also came with a one-way valve as well, so I went ahead and put that on there for safety uh, precautions, though this will be hanging up higher, so I doubt water is going to go up there, but I just put it on there still for a good measure, and because it came with it, I was kind of shocked. The kit, uh, the whole box came with uh, air, a complete air pump setup. I was really, really uh, impressed by that. Um, I'll put a link below uh, for where I got this from. I got it on Amazon. I'll put a link below for this uh, exact one that I got. I'll also be putting a link below for my um, uh, 
other products I'm using, some air stones. I got these in bulk. Uh, some of these valves right here, and then um, this, and then another uh, uh, gang valve that I got that this one I actually used last summer. It lasted all summer outside. Um, never had any problems. The valves still turn freely. Uh, did never get discolored, and I'll be able to use it again this summer. So this is a, I really like this piece right here. I'm just gonna attach this to the fence with a um, zip tie once again. So I'll go ahead and put a link to those as well below in the uh, description. Uh, so anyways, that's what I'll be doing. So hope you uh, enjoy.
All right, so you, so you see at this point I have the Airlines NEC is only working on that one. But that is normal. It comes with any um, airline um, setup whenever you have it going through a gang valve. So all I'm going to do right now is just adjust the the uh, gang valve. You see it's going on and off, and that's because it's basically running off the battery, which I forgot to mention. I only let the battery charge for like 20 minutes, and it was still working. So I'm going to go ahead and get that all tuned in right now. Put this back in there. But... I'm going to go ahead and tune it in right now. All right, so there we go. That one uh, started to pop up now. Turn this one down just a little bit, see if we can get that. All right, we have all two of them. One, two, th we have three of them going. All three are going now. That's, that's great. Um, I'm kind of shocked this... Uh, this solar powered air pump is rated for 5 to 50 gallons and these at 17 gallons each that is 20 40 60 minus 9 so that's 50 actually it's right at about 51 gallons or so is my math correct 20 40 60 369 yeah, 51 gallons minus, of course, you know, the little the inch or so on the top. So these are definitely running a lot better than I thought they would. I might shorten up the airline you see here. It's quite a bit of extra slack that I don't really need. Um, I think I might actually switch these. No, I'll leave that on there. Um, but there we go. Hopefully this will increase the fry production. Um, in all of these that one just has some grout females i was planning on putting a fourth line i'm going to see if i can put a fourth line over to my my fry bucket right now and see if that works out but um that's the plan but it, it's working i mean this is just off of a 20 minute charge basically in the sun and it's going on and off and it's going to charge in the morning because this area gets morning sun so i'll put the solar panel probably right here i'll go into that next and um it'll get morning sun which comes from that direction right over there. And then, um, let's see your morning sun. And then, um, so I figured if it charges for a few hours, it should possibly run for a few hours because it charged for about 20 minutes or less even, and it's running for 20 minutes. And I know it's not going to be all day, but it'll be better than, than nothing. I mean, literally last summer, I, would, I had this gang valve out here, like I said, and instead of going to an air pump, I just blew into it um, a few times, a, about once a day or so. So hopefully this will increase the, the health of the fish and, and we'll uh, go from there. So stay tuned, I'll be showing you the updates as we go. I might even add the, the line going over, the, um, going over to the fry bucket, so we'll check that out. So stay tuned. All right, I'm not sure if you can see it yet, but we have all four going now. We have um, breeding tub. We have mystery tub. You'll see what fish are in there later on at the end of the summer. It's an experiment that I will reveal what's inside if the results are successful. Um, or if my hypothesis was uh, supported, let's put it in science terms. This one right here, I don't have an air stone on it yet, but I did submerge the end of the tube and it is putting out a few bubbles I'll adjust it later when I put the air stone and I didn't bring it outside and then the guppy fry one it's in the far right side over here there are some bubbles coming out right next to the watermelon where'd the other water watermelon go I put in this morning I know they didn't eat that much maybe it's sunk I'll have to go check that later but um, as you see um, it is successfully pumping in all I'm pretty happy with this. I added a, a modification. I put a slight bit of airline tubing, the airline tubing that came with the uh, kit here. Added one of these um, air valves like I was showing. Tuned that in a little bit so I made it into, from a three-way into a four-way uh, uh, gang valve. And uh, it seems to be working. Uh, pretty nice where a piece of plastic came in like a 20-pack. Uh, like I said, I'll put the link below in the uh, description uh, for that. Um, uh, airline, that's kind of gross. That's really gross. What is that? Probably old watermelon rind. But um, anyways, uh, it's really gross. 
Um, oh, um, a little side note here. Um, I've been growing the plants or letting them, there's some eggs on there of some sort. I wonder what kind of eggs those are. I guess we'll find out. But um been growing the my plants that I have in um, just get, uh, gallon milk jugs. Um, ow, that is not a house fly. Um, I have a banana plant in here, some uh, water sprite. That's it in this one. Then, it, but it's doing a lot better than it has previous. I think it's because the the uh, gallon jug is so shallow that the sunlight's be able to get through. Um, and this gallon jug here, it's also doing well. I have some Java fern leaves that are actually growing. And whatever this plant is, I can't ever think of what it's called. Um, that's growing kind of nicely. And I just noticed, oh, this is also where I'm, I think this is where I'm growing my, my studs, my amphipods. But I just saw one swim around. Um, hopefully I have more than one so they can breed. Yeah, I see one on the bottom there, so hopefully that works out as well. Um, but uh, if you found this all at all informative or enjoyable, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please make sure you subscribe. Comment down below with any questions you have or requests for videos. Um, because as you see, this video came out of a bunch of previous comments from uh, viewers asking about if I had any filter going in. And I can turn this one down over here just a little bit so that the other ones get more air. Because that one's getting a crazy amount of air over there. Turn that one down a little bit, hopefully dial it a little bit better. But we'll see how things go. I'll keep you updated, see how my um, nice high-tech fancy uh, housing works. Uh, see how well that goes, see how long this lasts. and if it keeps on working so stay tuned for those updates and to get those updates make sure you ding that bell below turn on the uh, notification so you can be sure of whenever I post the update on this video uh, maybe the plants maybe the fry um, and any live streams that I do um, just notice these females are getting some really bright yellow on their tails that's really nice I didn't expect actually I guess I did kind of expect that a little bit because their, their their dad was a um tequila sunrise um male guppy so anyways uh yeah stay tuned i hope you enjoyed it and you keep it fishy people